Hello everyone. It's good to see all of you again. And at the market today, I found a very, very beautiful fish that I cannot resist buying. So let's go and check out what fish is it. Today, the fish that we are going to prepare and cook today is from the coral trout family. Um, this particular coral trout, is, the subspecies is a coronation trout. However, in the area like from Taiwan all the way down to Australia, there are actually two species of coronation trout. How do you uh, know that this is a coronation trout versus a normal uh, coral trout is very distinctively is this lunar shaped tail. There are two species of coronation trout in this region. They are known as the yellow edge coronation trout and the white edge coronation trout. The one that I'm holding here today is what we call a white edge coronation trout because the only way to tell them apart or rather the very distinctive way to tell them apart is like you can see there is a white band at the end of the, of the lunar shaped tail. So this is a white edge coronation trout. As for the yellow edge coronation trout, you will see at the end of the tail is a very bright yellow stripe. And that's how you tell them apart. So let's start the preparation for today's cooking. Let's descale the fish. I can see that the scales of this fish is very, very small. As you can see. So it's good to use some water. After I have descaled the fish, I continue to take out the uh, intestine and the gill of this particular fish because we are going to do a steam dish uh, today. I am going to plate my fish this way when I'm steaming. So uh, this particular fish is able to stand upright properly. Sometimes if you find that your fish cannot be standing upright like this, uh, what you need to do is to make sure that this particular part is open up a little bit more and making sure that this particular part is separated so that you can form like a stand. I will make some cuts on the body to allow it to be um, evenly steamed. Though this fish is rather, rather small, uh, there's no need to have a lot of like uh, cuts or fillet the fish halfway uh, because it's quite small. I'm going to put some spring onion stalks at the base. You can see that my fish is resting very well. And um, also some ginger slices to reduce the fishy smell. Okay, and then the, our fish is ready for steaming. So let's get the wok or the pan uh, going. My pan is ready. The water is boiling and I can see the steam coming up. I put the fish onto it and let's cover it. And we're gonna steam this fish about seven to eight minutes because it's not very big. So while waiting for the fish to be ready, uh, I'm going to prepare a very, very simple sauce. Using a small saucepan, first I'm going to put in two tablespoons of uh, light soy sauce. Next, I'll put in two tablespoons or so of water. Then we have one teaspoon of sugar. Then what we need to do is just make sure the sugar dissolves into this solution. Okay, the sugar has uh, dissolved, then uh, we are ready. Off the heat. And let's put this sauce aside. Eight minutes is up, and 
Let's check the fish. I think it's perfectly cooked. I'm going to off it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this fish to another plate. After the fish is being transferred to the new plate, so I'm going to add um, spring onion that has been uh, sliced up uh, and then um, parsley as well. And personally, I also like a little bit of uh, ginger in my dish. After the fish is being decorated nicely with the parsley, ginger, and uh, spring onion. On the other hand, I also have heat up two to three uh, tablespoons of oil, and this is what I loved. After hearing the beautiful music, now is to remember to add the sauce that we have prepared earlier on, and our dish is completed. Let's enjoy this beautiful coronation trout. Let's enjoy the fish. Oh, it smells so good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh. Oh man, it's so so tender. Oh. Ah, coral trout family fishes. I, all of us know why it's highly sought after and why it's expensive. The meat is so so tender. It's so good. Mmm. You can literally just eat the fish and the rice alone. It's so so good. I'm really gonna enjoy my dinner. Whoever come up with the Hong Kong steamed fish recipe, I say it's a truly genius because it's just soy sauce, water and sugar. And that allows you to enjoy the natural flavor of the fish as well as the sauce is goes so well with the rice. I really had a wonderful, uh, delicious dinner tonight and I look forward to see all of you in my next video. Bye-bye.